what's up ladies and gents we're in brussels for the first time behind us is the new fiat 500 electric abrath let's check it out here is the new abrath 500e or the electric fiat 500 the sport version uh, there's a blue model behind with the uh, soft opening roof now we're going to focus on this one and then at the end i'm going to show you the other one as well uh, beautiful gorgeous uh, uh, the Fiat 500 is just a gorgeous little car. I've never reviewed it because it was always without the key, but in this case it's on, so we're gonna check it out. But uh, we get to check out the sport version. It looks gorgeous. Um, I like the standard version, but this one also looks electric and aggressive. If electric car can look aggressive because of this like fake air intakes that are closed, it just gives it a little bit of sportier look. We have a big air intake at the bottom uh, since electric cars also need uh, you know, climate control and so on. Uh, there is a little air intake. There's like a white diffuser at the bottom. There's also a little air intake there. Um, now, the uh, Abarath, probably pronouncing this wrong, uh, has the daytime running lights, but on the top, uh, they're off. You can see the uh, standard version there. It looks really cute. Uh, especially with those uh, LED lights, uh, it has the top part illuminated. This one doesn't, it's just like a cover. Um, I would personally like to have them on the top, but that's just me. Uh, of course, uh, Aberath, they've decided to stick the badge on the front since it's closed grill uh, and Aberath badge there. Now you can see on the standard version, you have 500 there and then nothing on the top. Now. A detail that I really love about this car is this. It's the turn signal on the side. It's just floating and it's visible from like 180 degrees. So it looks awesome. And then here we have a gorgeous diamond cut silver on dark matte gray alloys. It looks so cool. And get the uh, Scorpion uh, cap there, big one. Now trying to read the tire dimension. It's a 205-40R18. These are, it uh, looks like some sort of specially EV design tires. Now, there's the VIN number, washer nozzles, wipers. Uh, checking the dash standard, you have one speaker at the top. You have the light and rain sensor, lane assist camera. There's a little sensor in the middle mirror there. Now, on the sides, you have the matte gray finish Side mirror, no puddle lights, has a blind spot warning there, uh, no auto dimming. Now uh, you have the glass roof. Uh, I think this one's not openable, it is tinted. And then slipping through the rest of the body, there goes the spoiler, extended. So this spoiler is, I think, standard if you look at the red model at the back. So tinted render on the rear. Now these are uh, with the frame doors. So good sound considering the window is down. Now uh, you have here lock and then from the inside you can press up. There's like a button to open. We're gonna come back to that. Uh, Abarth signature there and a Scorpio. So this one's 3D. And look at the back. So standard uh, 500, this is like rubberized around the windows. Badger there, 500 LED lights, LED turn signals. And then of course, Rafe matte finish Abrath signature there. Uh, not sure if this stoplight is inside, can't see it, it's tinted. And then we have the white LED license plates. I like the fact that this is black underneath. Uh, wide camera press here to open its rubberized button. You have the parking sensors Looks like 360 and then we have this diffuser It looks nice on painted plastic with white painted Contrast there and have the fog light reverse light They're standard and let's move to the side here. You press here and then you can see the uh, Charging so you can see here some information uh, so over here you have the type 2 for AC charging and then combined CCS for fast DC charging So let me just put this back you can hang that there and There we go gorgeous little 
electric car. Now let's show you the cargo space, boot space, whatever you call it. And let me back up here. There's, oh, there's no people. So I hope you can see the whole car in just a moment. There's people walking by. There we go. So it opens fairly tall, but it's on a step. So I, if I get on the step, you can see here, I'm a two meter tall person. It opens fairly tall. Now on the top, you can manually close this. All closed, there are rubber stoppers. So it doesn't ding. You have a small shelf here, so you can put a longer umbrella here. Just, you know, and you can remove this, of course, and go up and down. You have uh, back seats, they look nice. So I'm gonna show you from this angle. Uh, we have contrast stitching there. We have leather and Alcantara. They look amazing. Um, well, you have this headrest here, and then you can press down here to knock it down. But I'm, let me see if I can knock this down. So this seat is in the way, but of course you can knock that down and you can see the tether point there. I'm gonna leave this up deliberately so you can see it from the back, clip it in. Now, seats knocked down 50-50 in this case. And let's check here. So the right side is plain. And then on the left side, you just have the light and there is uh, like a compartment where the cable is for firemen to cut off the uh, power to the main battery in case it gets starts smoking or something like that and over here you can see uh, I'm not sure if this is like an amplifier or the power of the battery but uh, it's a nice cargo space for such a small uh, city hatchback that's electric uh, you can see that a little bit up close and yeah let's close it up Maybe I was a little bit too harsh with the closing, but uh, let's get inside. Now the doors open really, really wide. You can see that. Now this would look if I was shorter. Okay, so uh, you can see good seals. And then nothing on the inside. There's only seal on the doors there. Um, hard plastic, probably for weight reduction. And then you have here soft leather, beautiful. Uh, green and blue stitching for the contrast so where you touch i mean when you lean your elbow it's nice and soft so made in torino let me just switch this off it's annoying uh, made in torino so that's a nice rubber mat there uh, you can press here to open electronically but there's also this to pull manually in case the battery dies you can adjust the power mirrors front windows are fully automatic there's a little space here and water bottle there. It's decent speaker there. In this case, aluminum doorstep with Abarath. And not sure what this is. Oh, there's some sort of thing going in there. And um, tire pressure is here. So there are two dimensions. Pause and read. Actually, three dimensions. Not sure if this is from the car or not. Now, there is this, look at this, blue strap. I'm going to pull it. You can uh, slide the seat, of course, and then you can see how this looks uh, from the back. Now, I'm a two meter tall person, so, okay, let's give it a try. I need you guys to smash the thumbs up. So, uh, this is the back look. Now, maybe if you have really small kids, they can fit in here, the seat belt. This is plastic, there's a speaker here. Sorry for that uh, light there, you can see it now. Uh, there's a nice window here now if this is up it's obstructing the view but if someone needs to lean their head it's there and you can see the small space so it's quite good and a view from this side so there's no ac or something like that there are nice pockets in the seats now um, let's get to the uh, yeah over here this is nice to sit at the opening. Let's get out so I can push that back. I like the fact this is blue and it's leather. Let me just pull this back. Okay, uh, coming down, you have the uh, Fiat 500 original carpets, uh, Abra Sport aluminum paddles there. And uh, you saw this push it up to slide back and forward. This is for up and down, and this is. 
uh, for the tilt, the whole area, there's an air back there. Now, beautiful leather uh, and stitching from the inside. It's Alcantara. Love the patterns. Uh, Abra signature there and inside there. It looks really high quality made and gorgeous. Uh, steering column is manual. You have these sport paddles here, or I think. And actually, no sport paddles, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I meant recuperation paddles. And over here we have parking sensors on and off, traction on and off, fog lights, uh, height of the LED headlights. There are vents there, and they add a little bit of leather there. Now, a view at the top and a roof, you have the manual shade. And uh, yeah, let's let's jump inside. Look, this car really looks pretty cool, but it's so expensive, even for electric. I don't know, the prices are crazy for this car. But uh, nevertheless, it's super good looking. Now, I'm not sure if I can close the window so you can hear the closing sound when they're all up. Uh, let me zoom out so you can see the point of view. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, love the steering wheel and small display. This is nice and big, nice mirrors. So it's a good overview. Zooming back in. Okay, let's check the steering wheel. So we have uh, leather, nice, smooth, for the most part, it's blue, or it's uh, straight. And then we have this Alcantara, and then leather, it's a three-spoke, flat bottom, sport steering wheel, nice, nice profiling here for the thumbs. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Alcantara. You should put some sort of um, uh, ceramic coating to protect this from your natural oils and sweat from your palms and hands. Now, uh, Abrath log logo on the horn. Um, there as well like a signature uh, nice physical controls horrible piano black but uh, actually doesn't look that uh, bad on the steering wheel but uh, actually there's not too much piano black so I, I think this will be okay although you can see the dust phone calls voice commands cruise control settings uh, light controls um, wiper controls there and yeah uh, this is all hard plastic. This is, well, in this case, nice Alcantara, and then hard plastic, but this is mostly for weight reduction. You also have another signature there, 500. I love the small details. Uh, if you already haven't seen my uh, Jeep, this is a fully electric Jeep, based on the same or similar platform, uh, you should check it out. Uh, and uh, we have the speakers in the A pillars, but they look a bit cheap. Uh, and plasticky like the ones on the top but nevertheless you know it's all uh, has its own purpose air vents are there uh, hazards you can lock or unlock the car ac controls so these are up and down these are only down so automatic ac air direction max front or rear defrost open or close air direction fan speed so this is up and down and you have the climate off there is an usb a here there's a start stop and there is this no wireless key no key okay I guess this is just for the car show so over here you have a wireless uh, charging mat and there's like uh, I guess Torino um, picture there inside of it it's nice and rubberized and on the bottom I really like these these are like park reverse neutral drive it's pretty simple you know one speed I believe now this is all hard plastic um, now over here we have the emo an electronic parking brake volume and press to um, like mute hold to turn on the screen maybe uh, over here we have a cup holder that's adjustable with this bubbles rubber ice looks awesome and put it back and then you have this shutter like a roller and we have here a 12 volt outlet i'm not sure why there's a key symbol there have a usb a and c so there's two usb a's inside and one usb c that's cool for the transition area another cup holder and this is plasticky but you can put some stuff there there's another key symbol there if your battery is low uh nice and comfy armrest again love the stitching there's this mechanism to open up and small at the bottom but decent space for some personal stuff in the 
middle of the armrest. I uh, love the seats. Uh, the front one has ISOFIX points. Uh, you can see the rear ones as well. Yeah, they are same, no covers. And yeah, the seats are comfy. Now, as a tall person, I can also adjust in here, but it's tight. And over here, you can see huge space. It is slowly opening, so that's a nice. Um, yeah, as you can see, plenty of headroom. Um, I'm touching slightly with the hair. Now, just to show you here, we have this shade. If you want to, and just press to like this to release. So if you just press here, just watch out. It's kind of goes fast back, so you don't want to damage it. Now, a uh, good overview on the rear for the rear mirror. It is, yeah, good overview. You can see close. Uh, there's auto dimming feature, I believe, and. There's an emergency call, road assistance, airbag passenger information. There are lights, warm lights, apparently. Inside, all mics, or maybe Bluetooth calls. There's a document holder in here. Uh, no lights on the top, and now this thing is definitely not covering this whole long thing, but there we go. Now, a uh, good overview. Um, barely maybe see or don't see the uh, bonnet good overview for the side mirrors and if you need to turn uh, the blind spot it shouldn't be an issue if this is not tilted too much uh, but let's uh, power it on if I manage to power it on once again let me just see here press it cold um, Let's check here. So I didn't manage to change the language since I don't have the key, but you can see this is the vehicle electric setup. So you can see the electric motors on the front, front wheel drive, the battery pack. Now I can change here, or I can, let me see, we know, no, um, home screen. So on the home screen, you have uh, little dots here. You can add multiple stuff. And if you press here, I guess it shows you but you can't change this without the key. So I can show you all of it. There is uh, stations here, FM, DAB, radio. Uh, there is like here some apps, um, navigation, looks nice. You have here options and 3D view or normal view. Let me see if it's pinched to zoom. No, it doesn't allow pitch to zoom. Um, phone connections. We no. Ah, okay, no. And I'm not doing. I don't know French. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. Uh, ecran of. I I know this. This is a same where we use in Croatian because it's borrowed from French. So display off. Uh, you can turn off the display, and then in this case you get the clock touch back, and it comes back to life. Uh, I like what I see. I didn't manage to find the. Uh, let me just see here. Um, you have Alexa. Have heated seats. I didn't find the menu to change it to English, but I wanted to show this uh, just for a moment here. So if you go like here, and you can add these widgets. But uh, if you want to go here, then you can see like the options. Um, and then climate settings, it's just on and off. Um, I don't know if this is like a flow or something, but I like the display. I think it looks not too bad. Maybe they can work on it. Now this was working, the display, but uh, maybe if I uh, press here, you can see here. You can turn it on without the key, but it looks okay. It looks like it has basic information. Now, uh, once again, press here to unlock the door, and then you can use the manual release at the bottom. So uh, that's it. I'm gonna switch off the display, not to kill the 12 volt. You have to hold it on to turn it off, I believe. Yep, and this is alarm for the lights on. We're gonna leave it on because it was on, and open the bonnet. 
So just to show you the bonnet, push to the left underneath the badge, and voila, uh, that's your electric motor there. Again, front wheel drive, 12 volt battery if I'm not mistaken, and you can see there's nothing on the top. Since there are no LED lights, uh, there's just a blank. Uh, trying to figure out where the washer fluid is, it's here, so that's for you uh, and the rest just leave it to the mechanics. I'm gonna drop it down, close this perfectly. I uh, love the car, let's just uh, see if I can turn the uh, hazards on for you. And then we're gonna switch to the blue model. So, yeah, there we go. So you can see those, I love those on the sides and we have those on the bottom. I mean, I love the headlights design. It looks fabulous. If you ask me, I love the design language on this car totally. And this is the rear. So it looks pretty sweet. Now, not to forget, let's check the tech specs. Probably all interested. So, um, we're in Belgium, so they have uh, French. Uh, 43,000 euros is starting price. So you can see here uh, packages, comfort, security. So 10 inch display, seven inch TFT screen. Um, technical details, so here, let's come a closer so you can see here. Um, 154 horsepower, a lot of power for a small uh, car. So also nice when it's electric, so you have instant torque. So 0 to 100 is seven seconds. Max Maximum speed is 155, which I think is more than enough, considering the size of the car. Uh, charging 11 kilowatts. Um, Onboard charger, 11 kilowatts. So I wish it had 22, that would be a lot faster for the smaller battery. Uh, lithium ion battery uh, with 42 kilowatts, 40, for, excuse me, 42 kilowatt hour. So that's a lot of battery for a small car. Um, I guess they had to increase the battery size for the, um, for the powered version. I mean, for the, excuse me, sport version. Uh, checking the blue model, uh, we have a soft roof, uh, same white details. Uh, checking here so we have a heart uh, the, uh, spoiler with a stoplight there and uh, you can see contrasting Scorpio there let me just open this one so uh, this one doesn't open the same way so you can see this is a little bit uh, well limiting you can see the top and you can see the inside so there is one light just it's closed so this reminds me of the 500 uh, petrol version so there is uh, this like a I'm not sure what to call it thing maybe you can put the umbrella there uh, let's just open this one so well this one has the open roof so you can see textile and you can see how it looks so that thing I was trying to mention the one there maybe you can put stuff there but you can also see the inside it looks the same so I can see that the battery is being depleted, so I'm going to close it up. Now, uh, since I show that one, just this is the classical one, different alloys. You have the chrome strip on this one, same LED lights, uh, different pattern for the Fiat. Of course, Fiat badge, 500. Uh, so this is like more like a, for the gentle sex, for the ladies. Uh, love. So this is like the premiere or something like that. Um, signature inside looks lovely. So I love the dual tone. Look at this material. Also, this is leather, but this feels like a rubber. Uh, but I love the dual tone steering wheel. So this is more for the premium side, especially this color. Now, since I'm at it, I'm just going to continue on briefly to show you this is the uh, suicide door version so you can see when it's opened uh, that one is three door 
this one's like five door but with a suicide option so this one is probably easier to get inside you can still uh, lower that down and then uh, jump inside this one has the uh, white roof uh, you have the white shade and that's it lovely looking so just to show you the suicide doors they do have the speaker it's basically the same when you look at it like this you wouldn't notice like a uh, someone who's not into cars wouldn't notice that this is a option but there are those suicide doors and if you have a question can you close the doors no it, they don't latch up so there are some sort of features to cover that uh, we can see the leds there and to uh, show you the red version uh, it seems like this is a something different because the fiat is in the color of the vehicle oh this is the 500 red so i might separate this the, this as another review while i'm at it i'm just going to show you keep going so we have this awesome red seats they're cloth though so the driver's seat is red and the passenger and the back seats are uh, black uh, we have the red details inside and on the steering wheel white interior though looking nice and well in this case also the 500 is red but you can see the standard model that's what i wanted to show you so this is the price so no it actually has the same battery i was uh i thought it had the smaller ba battery but uh less horsepower 118 instead of uh 150 it was five and yeah so uh thanks guys for watching okay another detail and then i'm gonna end it so cutting in uh same engine bay there's a 12 volt charger for that but uh, i wanted to show you this so this has a addition for the led light that's on the top so you can see that one but uh looks like this one has a bulb inside uh, no lens uh like the uh, white model or excuse me blue model here so i'm back in the red fiat uh, just checking it out there's no shutter here so there's also no armrest so there's a cup holder there while i'm at it um this looks the same uh the sport battle is red there as you can see that and i feel like this is inspired by ferrari and you have red gray black looks amazing and uh i wanted to show you about this car so only the passenger side has the suicide doors because the uh, driver's side doesn't as you can see it's closed so this is basically saying uh, it's a car for women driving off kids uh, to school or preschool so everyone thank you for watching be a cool person smash the like button on the video leave your comment how to like the 500 and how to like the sport version Again, if you want to see more from Brussels, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos. We're going to see you in the next one. Bye.